Hello everyone and welcome back to another Universe Sandbox video and today we're going to be doing another episode of checking out one of your guys' solar systems. So today we are on episode 198 of this series I believe. So almost at the big 200 live stream so that should be um, pretty exciting once we get to that. But without further ado we're going to get into today's simulation. So that is from the user Greenish Green and their system is called the Venlapic system. And it's um, a system that, that has a red giant dying star. Ah, so sounds pretty interesting. So let's go ahead and see what they're prepared for us today. So we're going to go to workshop. Uh, it should be on subscribe. Let's see here. There it is. Right. Let's see what we got. Come on, game. What have we got? Oh, it's taking its time. It could be quite a big... Oh, all right. Hello. Right. Okay. Credit to my planet guy and some of the others for the objects. Okay. So Venny pack a star that is about to die. It has reached its red giant phase. It is scheduled to go Nova in about 2.2 to 5 million years. Okay. Right. Oh my god, there's a lot of asteroids. Oh, there's like a Dyson Sphere. Oh, not a Dyson Sphere, a um, Oort Cloud. That's pretty cool. Yeah, he's got like a little Oort Cloud. Nice. Right, anyways, on to the uh, planets. So, there's the star itself. If we look at its stats here. 0 0.5 AU. So, yeah, pretty big red giant phase. Okay. So, let's see here. Okay. We've got Akarisu. So, where's it? So, the first planet is Ka uh, Yeah. Canva? So where, where is that? Oh, here it is. Okay. It's all the way down here. Oh. A planet that... but or a, a planet but its orbit is... Line... But wait, its orbit is in a... Oh, in a belt. Some say it got formed there and never got out. Okay. Cool. So it's a gas giant as we can see. Looking good. Nice. Good, good. Right, so moving on, we've got Valas next. So I can jump out to here. We've got like a lime green gas giant. Uh, a gas giant also closest planet to the star. Uh, hang on, wait, no, that other one was closer, right? I mean, its orbit does no canvas, definitely closer. But anyways, we've got Valas here. Its lime green colour is due to the toxic gas that is in its atmosphere. It also has three asteroid moons which keep its rings stable. Nice. Okay. Cool, so there's its rings. We've got quite a lot of rings. I'm quite surprised the game's running as well as it is. It is. Okay, uh, next up we have got uh, Kumaso over here. One of two planets with life. It uh, used to be a frozen wasteland two billion years ago, but the increase in radius of the star warmed the planet up, allowing it to have life. Nice. It's even got a little eclipse going on there as well. Quite a nice looking Earth-like world, actually. Uh, checking its stats, it's got 88, but it's zero on the life likelihood. It's minus 50 degrees, so very, very cold, actually. Um, then we have the moons. So we've got uh, Hunger and Hagos over here as well. Cool. And what's this uh, object here? Oh, there's another moon. Okay, cool. Right, so taking a jump out. Okay, next up we got Tuste, a planet that has life just beginning to evolve. So that is this one here. Cool. It has a thin atmosphere making asteroid impacts very common. Right, so there it is there. Looks like there's a bit of a glitch line on it, but yeah, there you go. Cool. So if we check the stats on this guy, minus 13 degrees. Um, again, it's got zero life likelihood. Okay, interesting. Right, next up we got uh, Urgua, the last planet on this list. It also has the largest rings and moons. The biggest moon, Vulcan, is a, a used to be a planet and it got cool. Okay. So here is Urgua over here. Oh, oh, I need to head to, well, where are we? Hey. Uh, go to here. Okay, so purple planet. Okay, cool. Okay, let me select the thing. There we go. It also has the largest moons. Used to be a planet in one of the belts that got cool. Okay, so there's Vulcan. So this was a planet as well over here. Nice. Cool. Okay, there we go. And then what else have we got? Uh, others. USSR asteroid discovered by Russia. Okay. Uh, belts. Okay, so it's all just belts. Combined mass of two Earths. The asteroid cloud that combined mass is 0.05 suns. So that is the, I'm guessing the Oort cloud thing out here. That's in theory what that is. So, really cool. Nice. Pretty cool indeed. So what we're going to do is we're actually going to run this. And obviously since this is a red giant, I think it's only, uh, the only natural we need to actually detonate it. Um, and make it a Nova effectively. So let's go ahead and do that. So... Let's uh, slow down time as well. We'll go to tools, explode, and voila. So there you go. So this is what happens if this star would Nova. Just to have a bit of extra 
through the star system. So let's see how this uh, how this plays out. So, whoa, look at the asteroids. You see how the asteroids just suddenly change colour because they're heating up. That's so cool. And surely the ones out here will change as well eventually. But you can see it, planets are already glowing hot. Oh dear, oh dear. Okay. So let's uh, let's see how this uh, works out. You can see some of the planets are absolutely scorching hot already. Oh my god. Okay. So let's see um, how much of this this actually gets dissolved. Pretty cool. You can see the uh, orc clouds warming up as well. Look at the orc cloud. It's all gone orange. Oh, that's so cool. Yeah, look at that. They're over a thousand degrees now. That's insane. So let's uh, continue. We're running at maximum simulation speed. Obviously, that's a lot of particles going on here at the moment. Go inside the, uh, the Nova. So we can see planets are disintegrating in here. Not good at all. See, oh, that's the gas giant that will probably survive. The Earth-like worlds, obviously, they won't survive past the Nova stage of this star, I doubt. Yeah, that, that this was a planet that was uh, Earth-like at one point. But you can see now it's not uh, looking too hot anymore. Oh, my God. Yeah, you can see it's been absolutely scorched. So there you go. Uh, can we go any faster? Well, we can a bit now. Uh, there you go. I think that's the fastest we can go. So we can see it. This Nova will easily pass the uh, Oort Cloud area. Um, as it goes out into uh, deep interstellar space at that point. So you can see, um, yeah, there we are. But that does it for um, this system, guys. So again, while this is uh, just finishing up, a massive thank you to the creator of this system, Greenish Green, for sending this in. And yeah, we had to work. Uh, we definitely had to detonate it. If it was a red dying star, we absolutely had to detonate it. So I hope you guys enjoyed that little extra um as well there but yeah there we are so obviously guys if you'd like to send in your own simulations for this series as well make sure to join my discord server link in the description where you can upload your um systems there and then i will get to them once i've got through the queue as there still is a bit of a queue but hopefully that will be changing soon as we're coming up to episode 200 and like i said um quite a while back i will do a live stream for episode 200 where we will try and get through as many systems as possible maybe we'll get to the very bottom of the list which would be fantastic so yeah stay tuned for that i'll definitely do it as a live stream i'll probably do it um on a sunday as well so i'll, I'll give more news um on that when the uh, time comes actually so yeah stay tuned um but yeah well, um let's um just finish off this simulation now as well so we can see the orc cloud has been sort of uh grabbed by the supernova now so pretty cool but we'll just go ahead and remove all of that because that obviously would have been all disintegrated so let's see uh what actually remains of this system so if we just have a line up of all the objects what actually survived so let's uh see here so obviously the gas giant here yeah, that makes sense uh what is this uh whatever this well you can see yeah the planets that may have been earth like at one point are just barren now they've been completely ruined Vulcan here yeah okay so everything looks pretty ruined so from that Nova so there we are but yeah that does it for this simulation guys yeah like I said hope you enjoyed it if you like sending your own simulations and yeah just follow those instructions I just said and yeah let's even go for 50 likes on today's video as well guys and yeah if that all said and done make sure you have a great day stay safe out there and I'll see you in the next video goodbye